everyone and welcome to a smash look at Little Wimps, a dungeon builder. Franz here as always and this is a show where we take a first impressions look at new and upcoming titles. Like I mentioned today we've got Little Wimps, a dungeon builder which is developed by King Art and published by Upjares. It's going to be in early access very soon. It's a strategy dungeon builder that also includes raids, exploration missions, conquering cities and so much more. Now just bear in mind like I mentioned it's early access or was granted a key to this so things can and will possibly change as it's going through development. So first thing first we got his little dungeon. This is what things look like. You've got a little wimpy dude here. Who is. That wasn't terrifying at all. First as well, we do have some options menu, you get some advanced, advanced options menu in here, nothing in the sound quality is just on off. You can choose your favourite image, so you can choose whoever the heck you want to look like, I went with this fella. I don't know what that was. You've also got, you can zoom in and out here quite easily with that. Drag to basically drag around to your dungeon, and this button actually is your sort of full screen mode, so if you want to... Put in and out. But basically, we've just started up the game as we do with all Ice Smash Loots. We've got a range of icons down here. You can see dungeon, throne room, dorm, kitchen, workshop, a bunch of other stuff's not available during the tutorial right now. You've got the horde, you've got trading, storage, achievements, bank, treasure chest, friends still locked right now, research. We can actually go in here if we want to. You can see storage cabinet, lots of different research already as well. But first things first, we've got a little bit of sort of a objective going on here. You can see here because he's got more rims. So welcome to your dungeon master. You need to earn more, or you need to earth. You need more earth imps. Expand your dorm. Okay, right. So we get level one. You can see here this goes all the. Wow, that is a lot of levels. Okay, well we got the pickaxe. So what do you want? You want this here and this here. Okay, and now I take it we wait. Come on, little guy. What do I want over there? Or do you want this bit here? Maybe. Let's see. Five minutes, one minute, one minute. Why do you say five minutes, 50 seconds? I was wondering there why it was going to take too long. There we go. Get that hammered in. We do have a room down here. I wonder if we could put anything in. What is this dungeon? Ma Ooh. Maximum number of monsters reached. Oh. Okay. So you have some of this here. Uh, looks like we've got bedside cabinet and stuff. We've got a, re got a bunch of coins already. We've got some crystals as well. And knowledge. Now we need to get throne room. Okay. Not throne room. We need this, don't we? Wall torch. No, wait. Dungeon. Dorm. So we need to put a bed. Uh, let's see. So we'd create a dorm, so we do need to make a dorm. Let's wait for them to remove the rock. And poof! There we go. Alright, click the complete pins as soon as they arrive to complete a job. That way you finish laying the tiles and removing the locks. So it seems to be slightly different and it's not going to be like going around doing everything, but they are, is it? It seems to be... You having fun there, buddy? That seemed very long for five... Five seconds. Okay, this is probably going to take a while. Now, where does this go? I can't go upstairs. No. Fine. Don't let me go upstairs then. But we have that bit there. We've got this here. And probably could get into this bit. Um, we could actually just get rid of this just now, so he comes over here, because this is a room that we don't have access to, so we should be able to get access to it. Hopefully that didn't mess up, because the image kind of went there, you see there it just does that, and that's what it does. Um, but hoping it's not actually messed that up, and click. There we go. What do we got down here? Right, so we have to buy that. How many would you like to buy? One equals one for- are you serious? Oh wait, uh, okay. Buy. Please. Uh, that is definitely weird. Oh, because so it costs all that? Uh, hmm. Not sure if I like that or not. In you go. 
Okay, so that's a little bit of an interesting way to do things. Very different from you would have used to. Um, what are you? Oh, we need to buy a bed. Buy a bed. And place a bed. Why? I don't want to place the bed there. I want to place the bed here. That's not going to let me, is it? Okay. I suppose that bed over there. Could you move the bed? You can move the bed. Okay, so you can move it, rotate it. Uh, put into storage. So you can just basically store up items if you want to. Although we've used up a chunk of our gold already. Look at this little guy. He's got experience, so laying some floor. Let's let these unworthy creatures mine rocks, cook, or lay floor tiles. Requires space storm, needs sleep. That's it. There we go. We got a dorm now, so we can place one of these down. Why can't I place that down there? A room needs to consist of at least six floor tiles. Seriously? Really? Alright. Uh, could you use a couple of more? Did you know you can let your items increase your gold balance by having them main gold veins? I mean, I know that, but we are right now doing this, first of all. You have leveled up! Alright, so we leveled up and we got a few wee things as well. Alright, so I'm proving the, the, the dorm. If you need more monsters, you should expand your rooms to attract them. Have 12 dorm floor tiles in your dungeon, 7 of 12. Place one fire basket in your dungeon. A fire basket, okay then. There we go. Alright, so can we now then place this down? No, it's telling us to place it there. But I really want to place it in there. I really have to stop doing that. I really want to place it in here. And that, that is a long, long second. So I want to see this change maybe. So you could, like I said, it is feedback you're probably looking for. You know, it is early access. It's going to be things that you'll need to, you know, adapt to. I would like to hopefully, I don't know if this is going to be something that engine restrictive perhaps, but I would like to be able to switch or view, which I haven't seemed to be able to do yet. Click the place button in the menu bar and place the beds inside the dorm. Just need to wait on him doing this. And poof. There we go. It's nice that you get a little bit of a timer though. I do kind of like that a little bit because it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a time frame on how long things are going to take. And I love how we've got Omnis Hammock, Picture Frame Monster, uh, Picture Frame Wolf. Are these Earth Imp Shrine? Uh, okay. So this needs to be. It was room too small. Well, it's going to be done in 10 seconds. Or 5, or something like that. Let's see. We want to. Oh, nope, because we've got that there. Got you there, got that there. And presto! Okay, right, let's get this down. What I want to do. Oh! Have a door, there we go, we'll get some well done for as soon a new airframe will come to work for you. Right, we want to rotate this so and we'll place you there. We then also want to rotate you and place you there. Uh, nope, 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 not that, uh, okay, so you want us, mark four rocks, okay, one, two, three, four, there we go, trying to get to that just now, uh, move you, I don't know if you need to put space between them or not, but I'm gonna move them all over here, I'm gonna then rotate you and put you there, we don't have any more. We'll buy another one and we can place another one right here. We'll then rotate it. So we're starting to starting to see a little bit of movement here. Uh, what the heck is this fire basket? Where the heck did I put that? Just put it anywhere? Uh, okay, you know what? We'll put it there. Alright, there we go. Have 12 dorm floor tiles in your dungeon. We've got that much. Get some new stuff as well. Your infallibility. There are so many useful monsters that might decide to move in with us if we had a kitchen. Destroy one rock, have nine kitchen floors. Ah, uh, okay, so we're to get nine of these. Alright. Okie dokie. Well, we need to first uh, create a little bit of an area here, I think. 
I do would like to be able to click and drag so I could actually create this area a lot easier. There we go. And I'm wondering, is there a remove? Can you remove things? Let's see. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to let me remove it. Uh, cell? Nope. So it doesn't look like you can actually remove it unless one of these icons do it. That might do it and it's just not letting me because it's a tutorial. Earth map, Earth, uh, a new monster joined you. Excellent, excellent. That going. That wasn't freaky at all. I wonder if you could actually put it over this. What? What? I'm not putting it over there. I'm going to put it over here. I'm not doing as I'm told in the tutorial. That's uh, that's fun. But it does seem to be you can't actually remove that, which is a little bit of a shame. Glory level. So glory level, your monsters now appear 0% faster. Next level, 5%. You can now lay 24 tiles per room type. Ah, okay. There you go, guys. Get to work there. But yeah, we're going to head over here and get that done. They're going to do that. Then they'll hit, both head over here. Gives us a 9 area for the kitchen. Although I tend to like to have doors, so what we might do, actually is undo that one, undo that one, and then we'll do this one. Like so. There you go, right guys, come on over. You cannot drag them. There's no way to drag them, because dang are they slow. I mean, pro you could potentially move the beds in there, but it's not going to really help us. Uh, these guys do not half move slow. Hmm. Come on. That's it. Keep going. No. Oh, jeez Louise. I don't know if it's just the way... Because the, the, obviously they are only little wimps. But they do seem to take a heck of a long time to move down here. There we go. Finally. So we got that bit going. You are apparently... Can we actually even go upstairs? And place here, because why not? Uh, what's this? Buy one of them. Where does this go? Ah, it's a ward, wall torch. All right, okay. Well, we'll place one of them there. We'll buy another one. We'll place it over here. Well, that's not mighty terrifying at all. This one there, and place one there. There we go. I don't know if I like that whole click thing. I would like it to just be done. Ah, uh, because otherwise it's just kind of like... I don't know. It feels a bit too clicky. Which I suppose can be fine. Right, there we go. Come on. And... Right. He's this you know, chilling out over there. We could get someone working on some coins. I mean, we do have all these to go, but none of them seem to be really... Is that seriously going to take two minutes? That was very hard rock. Crumbly rock. Ah, okay. So you get different types of rock. So you get solid rock, you've got very hard rock, uh, hard rock, regular rock, crumbly rock. Hmm. That's a bit of an interesting twist on things. Can I not drag you over? I wish it was a bit more like dungeons. So you could actually drag it over and be like, right, you get over there. Because that's probably going to take a while. That is very hard rock. That is regular rock. Very hard rock. Right, you get your butt over there. You're not wanting to get your butt over there. Alright, for the sake of this, we're going to actually just drag these out. And we're going to pop them here. I'm going to drag you out and pop you there. I'm going to drag you out, put you there, put you out, put you there. All right, then we're going to go to the kitchen. We're going to do this, we're going to do that. Uh, it's not going to let me. Okay, then. All right, guys, so skipped ahead a little bit, too, because it is a bit of a slow burner. Now, I would like to see the imps 
sort of like pathfinding probably tweaked again it is going into early access it will be looking for feedback and everything it's a bit of a slow burner to start with so please do bear that in mind if you're picking this up these numbers also don't match up with these i don't know what that's about and everything and i don't know if there's anything it's going to show you in because there is a bit of a helps and tips guide here you can see here there's lots of things and how to earn the money how to get new monsters why do you have to wait so long for new monsters how do i see if there's enough room for new monsters so on and so forth what are work orders and you can see there's actually a story as well um visually it's actually quite nice i, I like this uh, quite a wee bit um i would like to be able to you know instead of being able to place down like say you know a bed if I just buy one instead of doing that you would be able to there doesn't seem to be a key that changes it at all so you have to place it down and then do the rotate i would like to be able to do that all in one because it you know takes away some clicks we do have this almost getting done here which is nice um we've got this all ready to go we're just waiting on them finishing up this little area and then we'll have our kitchen now this did pop up to me and i was like oh what because it feels a bit it feels a bit mobile -y. It feels a little bit like an app when you have this you've got this here so you can buy whatever you wish um, you can actually buy a selection of these guys. The Belcher Dorm decorations are pretty good. You can buy some beds. So you can see here, you can actually get, you know, could buy that for them if you want to. So we can actually buy them if we want to. Yes, we do. Why not? Um, we've got Embellish Your Dorm decorations are pretty good. Higher the glory. We've also got this. So you can actually see uh, different price values. Oh, there we go. There we go. And make sure we're getting this done. There we go. Soon, soon we'll have our kitchen. Soon we'll have the kitchen. There we go. Now, it doesn't look like there's anything that you can replace dirt. Like, for instance, in dungeons. Because I'm still going to be making comparisons to that. Because this is, you know, that type of genre where it's putting itself in. You know, a dungeon builder. I would hopefully like to see if there we can get a little bit of the missions and raids going on. But it might not be able to, depending on how long this is going to take. So we're going to have to just wait and see. Alright, now we want to... We can't place that there yet. Alright, because we've got this bit, this bit, and this bit to actually do. We've got this bit done as well. Looks like he's actually fixing that little patch up there. So we're going to get that down. There we go. And done. Excellent. Okay, we'll then put that there. If we, so they can get started. So we got all this. Now we just have to wait these going. I would like some sort of drag and uh, the monster works 500 percent faster at the start of the game uh well it's really not working that fast is he and we've already unlocked this sort of the we've got here i think it's a storage cabinet for all your storage needs you know there we go because it's telling me obviously it would have been better probably to place over there but that didn't happen so we're over here i'm gonna move this to here just so it's next to that. I do like the sort of lighting effects. It's quite nice. It does give a sort of glow. It's very nicely done. You know, it's not like a dark game. You're not going to be able to see anything. These guys are working way on this now. So that is good. Get that done. And switch to this. We'll get that. And we'll place that there. There we go. All we do need now is to wait for air fence to finish a job. So you can see that's actually done that. We I'm guessing because it's a tutorial though, you can't actually access this because I that believe looks like a bulldozing type icon, so we'd be able to get that back. Hopefully. I mean you never know, you might not actually, to be fair. There we go, we got the kitchen down and place that there. There doesn't seem to be any speedy speed up area from what I can see. I did notice there's a trade, so you can please select a card uh, a card piece. So you get different levels here, different offers. You can also have friends as well. I do believe it said somewhere that it does require online, but I'm not entirely sure what that means, and I'm not sure if this is coming out on mobile as well. There we go. We get that, and buy one. Can we buy one of them? Yes, we can buy one of them. Did you know you can let your rims increase your? Yes, we did. Don't you worry. But we're putting down some kitchen stuff. Uh, though we do need that. Oh. Okay, let's see. We want to have you mine that. There we go. Hey, off you go. What a long he's going that way. It seems to be if it's close by they'll go, but see because it was here to here, they took forever. There we go. Now 
how do we tell that's gonna be increasing at all? Or does he just... Hmm... Not entirely sure how this works. He's going over to fix that area. <laughs> Price, account balance. To bank! Oh, you can... Ah, okay, so... You know what, for the purposes of this, let's do that. Yes, we do. Alright, then we're going to put down a production site. So that needs to go in here. Reach level 3 to 4. There we go. Workshop for goblins. Hurry up, your lordship. We urgently need a few goblins to build great items for us and make sure to provide them with food for goblins or gl glutonious people. Cook two veggie soups. You currently have no goods in the category of food. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Right, so we want to buy one of these and we want to put that down here. Alrighty. What do, uh, here you can see currently what's currently being produced. Ah, okay. Ah, there we go. And you know what? There we go. So you actually get... I like that. So you get a little bit there. Stop pot let earth ants produce regular food. So once he's done with that, he'll get started on the food. He's just mining away. I'm... Is that giving us gold? I'm not entirely sure now. Uh, we got some picture frames here. Do we have any... Because we don't, we have a living bed, but we don't have any additional imps that have came here, which is a bit odd. But oh well. And there we go. Oh, uh, kitchen spreads. I have kit ten kitchens out in dungeon. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? Fill this up. I take it. Yes. Okay. He's working away on that, and then he has a wee cupboard over there. Nobody's doing anything with that, which isn't too great. That doesn't seem to have changed, so... Oh, oh wait, you have to click it as well. See, this is why I'm feeling a little bit like it's almost as if they're trying to wrap this into one. Like, you have the mobile touch thing. And I'm on the fence if I like that or not. Very much on the fence if I like that or not. What do you want me to do? Uh, wonderful. Now you don't uh, don't think you have a halfway hog. The throne room would like be a good place for the workshop. Mine nine rocks there. There we go. Right, I am going to then click that off so you can. What the? Well, okay then. We'll cancel that one out so that they can get to work on this area over here. Uh, there we go. Then, uh, as soon as the rocks are entirely removed, you can start laying the flow tiles, uh, which is this one. Where are you going? Nobody's went there, though. If you're going over there to fix that, then fair enough. But it looks like you're a bit... No, you're not going to door, thankfully. Uh, where are you going? Need sleep. Well, you can get sleep when you... I don't know. Let's see. Dorm. I mean, is that too close to each other? I'm wondering. Why are you way over there? Why are you way over here? Not where you're meant to be. Alright, let's see. Go in here, and here, and here. And can't place that right now. He's just chilling out over here. He's like, yeah! I'm just not going to do anything. Need sleep. You're not cooking. Cooking's over here that you're not even anywhere near. Well, this guy will do all the work then. Right, there we go. So how much do we need to make this happen? Let's see. More imps. Uh, we've got that, we've got that. Workshop for the goblins. Uh, okay, so destroy nine rocks. Have nine workshop floor tiles in your dungeon. Okay. Now I'm wondering if you have to actually place them in the same place. Let's uh, do this. And 
Can't place, can't place area between rooms as there must be at least one neutral field. This may consist of rocks, walls, or dungeon floor. Ah, okay, so you could only place it in here. No? Oh dear. How do you create normal... Is that it? No, it's throne room. It's dorm. Kitchen. Research. Let's see who's research here just now. So we've got the storage cabinet. Uh, what does this give us? Does this give us any information at all? Doesn't look like because we're not at level 6 at the moment. Battle. We don't have any battles going on right now. Does seem to be a pretty huge tech tree. Holy crap, that's a big tech tree. Fair enough, fair enough. There we go. Get that done. And can we place this in here yet? No. Ah. Uh, well, go sleep then. I'm not stopping you from sleeping. Except he's just doing nothing. So it's a bit odd, a bit of, uh, a little bit of the, the pathfinding, I don't know. Like, they won't go sleep, but they're just kind of wandering around. There we go. Did that automatically displace it so he doesn't need to do it? Nope, it did not. Alright. So it looks like we do need to get through this a little bit more. Uh, that's not allowing me to do that there. I'm just going to place it randomly in places to see if it helps. Is he going to go over and start on that? No, he's just literally wandering around. I do think this game needs a little bit of polish. Um, the pathfinding is definitely very questionable. I do like what I'm seeing. Bear in mind, guys, it is early access. Do keep an eye on its, you know, its development and everything on the Steam. I'll leave the Steam link down below for it. I just feel it definitely needs a, a little bit of polish, a little bit of work. Um, obviously, I did this here, and then, you know, but then it opened that up. But then they've just kind of, like, left it be and not really doing anything else. So it's a bit of an odd one. But I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching this Smash Look at Little Wimps, a dungeon builder. And, oh, we can see someone actually went to sleep. I have been France. Thank you very much, though. If you enjoyed what you're seeing, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back for more. See you all next time.